In this video, I'll look at the Heathkit PM2 mobile tuning meter. While Heathkit described the PM2 as a mobile tuning meter, it's an example of what's more commonly known as a field strength meter. A field strength meter is a device used to measure the strength of electromagnetic fields, commonly used in telecommunications, broadcasting, and electronics to assess the strength of radio frequency signals. The meters typically have antennas or probes that pick up the RF energy and convert it into a readable signal displayed on the meter's front panel. Inexpensive meters like the PM2 are simple devices typically powered by the radio signal itself with no battery or other power source being needed. Units like this one also typically just show relative power which is not indicated in any absolute measurement units. Field strength meters can be standalone devices or are sometimes combined with an SWR meter function like this one. Field strength meters are commonly used by radio amateurs for testing transmitters and antennas. They're particularly useful with older tube type transmitters that require tuning up as it can sometimes be easier to tune for maximum output rather than minimum plate current. The PM2 was made by Heathkit from 1959 to 1975. Sold as a kit of parts that the user would assemble, it initially retailed at a cost of US $12.95. Early units had silver metal knobs, while later units, like this one, used gray plastic knobs. The PM2 replaced the older PM1 model, which had a different case style, but used similar circuitry. The PM2 was replaced in 1977 with the model HD1426 field strength meter, which had a different case and meter style, but was essentially the same in terms of circuitry and features. The published specifications for the PM2 were a frequency range of 100 kilohertz to over 250 megahertz. Sensitivity was rated at 0.3 volts RMS at the antenna for a full-scale reading at maximum sensitivity. It provides a sensitivity control on the front panel. Heathkit specifically promoted this for mobile use in an automobile, but also said it was good for fixed station or portable use. As mentioned, it requires no power source, a built-in magnet allowed it to stick to the fender or metal dashboard of a car. I think it's been some time since cars had metal dashboards. Readings are arbitrary and shown on a scale from 0 to 10. It requires a significant signal level. Typically it needs to be within a few feet, if not a few inches, of the transmitting antenna, depending on the transmitter power level. The circuit is very simple and is shown here. Radio signals from the small wire antenna are rectified by a germanium diode and filtered by an inductor and capacitor to drive a small meter. A variable resistor adjusts the meter sensitivity. The diode had Heath part number 56-4 which was a Hughes HD2257 germanium diode. It uses a 200 microamp meter. Inside all wiring is point to point between the meter, antenna binding post, and sensitivity potentiometer. I obtained this unit in March of 2025 from an eBay seller as part of the purchase of a Heathkit HM15 SWR meter. It didn't come with a manual, but I found some copies online. As received, the unit was working. I just gave it an inspection and some light cleaning. The original magnet in the case was missing. While I could glue one or two magnets to the inside to restore this function, I chose not to do so as I'm unlikely to use it mounted on a metal surface. The antenna wire was missing, so I made one similar to the original using a banana jack and a 12-inch length of heavy copper wire. The sensitivity control was a little stiff until I lubricated it with oil. I also added some adhesive rubber feet, as the originals were missing. I'll give a demonstration, first with a 2-meter band handheld amateur radio. With the antenna wire connected, they recommended you set the sensitivity control around the middle of the range and then key the transmitter. The sensitivity can then be adjusted up or down as desired for a suitable reading on the meter. With my handheld putting out around 3 watts of power, I can get a full scale reading when about 3 feet or 1 meter away from the unit. The frequency is around 144 megahertz. I can see the reading go down if I switch the radio to its low power 1 watt setting. Now with this vintage Heathkit DX20 transmitter 
connected to a light bulb as a dummy load. Placing the meter close to the unit will indicate output power and assist in tuning the transmitter for maximum output. Note that if using a single sideband transmitter, you would need to modulate the signal with some audio as it would otherwise not output any RF signal to drive the meter. A field strength meter is a very simple device that's useful for ham radio operators to check and adjust transmitters and antennas, whether fixed base station, mobile, car, or portable. This unit, made over 50 years ago, appears to have all the original components and still works well.